Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. How I moved on from my ex. Progress. I met my ex, Kara, in early 1994. We clicked fast. We introduced each other to our family and friends within a month. Everyone got along great. At this point life was perfect. One year after we met I asked Kara to marry me. She accepted and we started planning our wedding. We decided on a date in August 96. I was walking on a Kara moved in with me in early March 96. She wanted to find a job quickly and contribute to the household. I wanted her to wait until after the wedding. I made more than enough to easily support us both. But she was adamant. This is when things started to fall apart. She went to work for a design firm in late March. Within a month she started working, she became distant, showed little affection and started talking endlessly about her project manager. I should have seen the red flags. But no. D-Day was June 12th 1996. I came home from work early, and yep, found Kara and her project manager, Tim, in our bed. They both panicked. Tim grabbed his clothes and left. Kara sat on the bed getting dressed and told me we were through. Her reason, he can help my career, you can't. Two weeks after, Kara's BFF, Terry called. She hadn't spoken with Kara in a while and wanted to chat. I told her what happened. She thought I was making a joke and started laughing. When I was silent, Terry realized I was serious. Kara had been kind enough to give me her new address and phone number, if I ever wanted to chat or visit, like that was going to happen. I gave Terry her address and number. Terry came to my house about two hours later, she is normally very upbeat and smiling, this time, she looked like she wanted to murder someone. She came in and gave me a hug. She cut loose with massive outburst about Kara and how she was lying be word and that she was done with her. Kara had told Terry that I was physically and emotionally abusive. What a pile of crap. Terry and I started hanging out together. We never really talked a lot before. Turns out we both absolutely love British history and Italian food. Terry went back to school to finish her thesis in the fall of 96. We called each at least once a week and we also visited each other a few times. In early November I called and asked if could visit her on the 9th. She was about to start doing some hard research and I knew her time was going to be needed for her project. I went to her apartment. When I got there, she asked me if I was calling and visiting her because I wanted to talk to someone or was it because I liked time with her. This made me chuckle. I told her that my friends live within a mile of me. If I wanted to just talk or hang out I wouldn't run up my phone bill or drive two hours. I liked being with her. She smiled and we went out for dinner and a movie. When we went back to her place she turned and kissed me. I was stunned but quickly recovered and kissed her back. Our first date, first kiss and the first time we slept in the same bed. The other first happened the next day when I came back to her apartment with an engagement ring. We were married on May 9, 1998. A few months after we were married, my sister called. Kara wanted to talk to me. She gave my sister her number. Terry said I should call so I did. She apologized and wanted to know if we could try again. I thanked her said I had moved on. At this point Terry got on the call, Kara ended the call quickly after that. Kara called my sister and said that we had betrayed her. WTF. The best ending one could ever expect. Glad to see how things went beautiful rather than being tragic after she left you. You should thank her for everything she has done because she got you married to a better woman indirectly who was her best friend. There is nothing better than getting revenge on your cheating ex by marrying their best friend and living happily. I wish you the best of luck my friend. 23 years this Sunday. If I ever see Kara again I will thank her. Im. It wasn't planned to be revenge, but I see how looks like it was. If Kara had been faithful, Terry and I never would have become a couple. I'm very happy she wasn't. 
Terry has been the best partner I could ask for. Honestly, who cares what it looks like? Neither of you owe her anything. You wouldn't be married 23 years later if it was revenge. What a good ending to a sad story. Kara Shaw is delusional to say that you two betrayed her. This is very true. We built a lot together. We were able to retire early. And are enjoying our life more than ever. The we betrayed her comment gave me a real good laugh. Seriously, how much of a narcissist and sociopath is she? Did Tim help Kara's career, or did he pump and dump? Please tell me it was the latter, it would make an excellent story, epic. By the way, congrats on the upcoming anniversary. They didn't last, big shocker. Last I heard, she's on her third marriage and it's not going well. This was a while ago. The key is, you are a good human and good things were in store for you. Wishing you both health and happiness. Kara is a selfish and entitled nut job. It would have been funny if you said Terry could help my career, you couldn't. Congrats on escaping Kara. Oh that would have been good. Wish I had thought of it. So, the project manager had helped Kara with her career? Well, that didn't last. I don't know the details. Didn't care to know. Wow. This is very similar to my story except I started going to her best friend in hopes to reconcile with my cheating ex, because of what she did to me they had stopped being friends and her ex best friend became my best friend and in November 1999 my partner for life. If I run into my ex someday, I would thank her too. That is awesome. Man, so nice to hear happy endings. WTF is wrong with people like Kara who have to lie about others in order to cover for their own poor character. Wonder if she ever changed? I've thought that many times. I'm not and never have been a violent person. She told my best friend and his wife the same thing. They also knew better. Kara was invited to never visit them again. That was some beautiful revenge. The best revenge is being happy but being happy with her ex-best friend is the frosting on the cake. She lost two people who loved her plenty. Looks like project manager got a younger girl. Most likely, sucks for my ex, smiley face. Kara betrayed herself. She thought she could monkey branch but the branch broke, she fell and there was no cushion to break her fall. Now she's hurt about it so blames everyone else, except herself, for her poor choices. Well played fella, and may you continue to be successful. Very true. Man, this is so wholesome. Damn, I just gave out my awards to another one, this post deserved it better. Anyway, I wish you all the very best. That's okay. I'm glad you liked it. I was asked to post my story because it has a happy ending and so few infidelity stories do. I'm actually surprised it has gotten the traction it has. I was prepared for a lot of backhanded comments. Cheaters are always looking for a way to be the victim. Their tortured logic knows no bounds in this pursuit. I effing love this story. Thank you for it. Wishing you everything. Oh man that summer 96 hit differently. Wow look at this god decision. Because your love is true but she's not deserve your true love. She's an ugly character. Cheating person also. You deserve a good loyal person so god give the gift to you. Kara definitely has multiple partners. She's lost a good husband and friends. I love this. Good for you. I wish all the stories I read here ended the same. Awesome man. You did great. I'm glad to hear it, man. Wish my story could turn out at least half as good as yours did. Should have told her Terry can help me with friendship, love, emotional support and faithful sex. You can't do that. By the way, how's your career? Well crap, so many wonderful wonderfully funny replies that I didn't think about. This is absolutely golden. There is one thing Kara did that deserves credit, she told you straight up why she did what she did. No lies, excuses, or gaslighting. She was in it for her career. Her true character was revealed. Other than that, she's a miserable excuse for a human being. This is true. No blame shifting, no excuses. I'll give her that much. 
Unfortunately, I know lots and lots of stories with Akara in them. Narcissists like them believe that the rest of us exist only to serve them. Congratulations and continued happiness. Great story. I love when the cheetah's new romance doesn't work out and they come crawling back and you get to say no. Karma. And then everyone clapped. Beautiful story. But holy crap, why marry that quickly? Boggles my mind. It was two years later. And we've been married 23 years. I think it has worked out well. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.